control panel for a reverse block with local control. All your switches and lights and everything are right on the door. No remote control required. Everything's wired through. This is a relay machine. We have four timers, reversing contactors, and the relays to control things. Timer one is your forward time. That will be set. Whatever it takes for the ram to go forward, that's your forward time. Timer two is a delay timer between forward and reverse. When timer one times out, timer two comes on for one second, the motors stop. Timer two times out, timer three, the reverse timer comes on, the reverse motor comes on, it backs up and shuts off on time and or pressure of the pressure switch inside. It's a very simple machine. You have pressure switches for 80% and 100%. You have a forward pressure gauge. The pressure gauge only shows pressure on the forward stroke. How you, do you set the timers? Timers are set. They're dialed. That's two seconds. That's 12 seconds. You can change your scale here, which will change the numbers up to 30 seconds. You can change your range. You have a little window that says seconds. You can go up to 10 seconds, and it'll be 10 times the value on your, on your dial. Whatever it takes. Timer two on this machine, one to one and a half seconds only. All this does is when the motor's going in the forward direction and timer one times out, timer two shuts both, mo both contactors off. The motor stops rotating, timer three comes on, the motor rotates in the opposite direction. Once this is set, there's no need to touch it. It's just forward and reverse time. That's all you have to do. Reverse time needs to be set for about one second longer than it takes to get back the pressure switch will shut it off. If the pressure switch does not shut it off, T3 will time out as a watchdog and shut the machine off. And that is our relay machine for a reverse block.